Hello, YouTube family, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. And if you are a returning viewer, you guys, thank you all for 10 mother freaking K. I want to cuss, but I should not, and I won't. Thank you guys for 10K. OMG. Like, this is my first recording um, since I hit 10K, and I hate that I can't actually be on camera, but. I'm going to announce the giveaway soon. I have no idea what I should do. Like, <laughs> give me some ideas. Like, I want to do something big, but I don't need, like, I get into 10K this fast. Like, uh, child, I ain't even had time to process what a 10K giveaway would be, but it needs to be epic. So, I need some ideas. Y'all let me know in the comments below. All right. So, without further ado, let's get into the tray for October. All right, so if you are new here, um, if you've never seen the tray video, I always want to start with at least, you know, one or two things that I'm testing. And this first, y'all, first of all, forgive me for these nails, okay? These should have been soaked off like days ago and I'm just dragging my feet. But this is Rose Oud by Alexander J. I got this in my Royalty Sense subscription and I was, I sprayed it once, you know, on my skin. And I wasn't impressed. Like, it was like, okay, Rose Oud whatever it's been done six thousand times and this one isn't really giving me too much of a you know I'm, i have to have it vibe but y'all <laughs> my daughter put this on randomly and i was like girl what in the h-e double hockey sticks do you have on because you smell amazing it is so crazy how different fragrances will smell on someone else yuki really Say hey, <laughs> Yuki, bad behind. But anyway, um, it's so crazy how fragrances will smell different on someone else. Like once it walks around in the air, and you're not smelling it up close and on you, it can smell completely different. So I'm gonna give this one more testing because I, I like I said, I got this probably like two months ago. Sprayed it once and never went back to it, but. I will be testing this one again, Rose Oud again by Alexander J because it smelled phenomenal on my daughter. Okay, so where should we start? Let's start over here. Duquesa, okay? I'm obsessed, period. We're gonna just put a period. End of sentence, I'm obsessed. This is a an amazing cherry, um, sour cherry, like floral gourmand scent. So... Well, the first couple of times I wore this, I felt like the cherry would kind of be hiding behind the white florals and peach and other notes that are in here until maybe about 15, 20 minutes in and you start to get to like a real dry down, then the cherry would come back. For some reason, when I wore this out, like to work for the first time, first of all, this damn thing lasts all day. All, when I say all day, <laughs> all day, Okay. And I feel like I was getting cherry throughout the life of the fragrance. So this is definitely one you have to test, but it is a phenomenal cherry scent because it's like, it's like I said, floral gourmand, but you have this oriental vibe. It is so freaking elevated, sophisticated, like money. And I had the nerve to pair it <laughs> with Baccarat Rouge. When I tell you I was getting my whole like sweet saffron life that day, it was just too much I, I literally felt like I mean hello like Mrs. Elon Musk like Mrs. Mackenzie Scott former Mrs. Bezos like I was giving a vibe I was rich even though I wasn't but I smell rich okay so if you're looking for something elevated like this combo yeah ain't nobody messing with you with that honey you you want a whole nother plane all right so I talked about this next one this Oh my God, this has got to be the most exquisite bottle in my collection. This is Oriental Enigma. And this is by Alexander J as well. Um, wow. I mean, what can I say? This is for the Oriental lovers. If you love the note of hazelnuts, if you're an Oriental girl, this Oriental gourmand will satisfy your appetite, okay? It is sweet. The performance, the projection, the longevity on it is absolutely amazing. And y'all saw what I did for y'all last time. I found y'all a code or link, I'm sorry, with like half half off because this is a Harris exclusive. So it's very hard to get in the U.S. You can order through Harris, but they had sold out. 
and I don't think they've restocked it. This is in a series of five with the Art Nouveau collection. Yuki, you know what? Yuki, you know what? All right, I'm back, you guys. That cat was driving me crazy. Um, Okay, where was I? Alexander J. Okay, so this one, hair is exclusive, hard to get in the U.S. Um, and I found a link, I think, for Joma Shop. They had it at like 169 and if you go through the Alexander J website directly, which you can order through Alexander J Direct, it's like $350. So, yeah, saved y'all. I'm like winded, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Running around chasing this damn cat. OMG. But anyway, all right, let's move on to the next one. And as you can see, honey, <laughs> got more than one little pearl up in here for this video. So, I talked about possibilities in my fall video possibilities <laughs> if you know you know sexy spicy rose it's very peppery so you've got this pink pepper in the opening which does fade away a little um but you've got the aki gala wood in the base which is going to make it peppery throughout the life of the scent so if you're not a spicy girl, I would say test it. Now, th these are Nordstrom exclusives in the U.S. Um, my U.K. babes, check uh, Harvey Nichols, I think. Um, my good girl, Abby, told me that that is who will be carrying it. Now, in the U.S., you can order through La Perla directly. But if you just want to go through your regular, schmegular retailer, Nordstrom's exclusive. And Nordstrom will have a good return policy. So if you buy this, you don't like it, you can return it. But very sexy super sexy spicy rolls and i added uh, let the dance begin into my collection and when i say i'm mother freaking obsessed you guys why are they doing it la perla and why is not everyone talking about this line like y'all are chiming in like girl yes i y'all ain't told nobody tell some girl yes y'all should have been putting me on and this one is your yellow floral okay it's warm spicy it is ambery when i say this thing is smooth and seductive oh my god so you've got this ylang ylang you've got some caramel um i think that i forget what spices but i feel like it's like pink peppers and peppers and all kinds of spices at the top but it's nowhere near spicy as this baby right here um this again it's very smooth it's like this sandalwood um cashmere like oh my god it's so smooth and seductive and when i say this right here this is like sexy ass date night we all gonna have some hours together this is Netflix and chill, okay? We have a clear, defined, direct goal for the night. <laughs> and yeah, so we don't want nothing too strong, too beast mode, but we want it seductive and sexy. That is where Let the Dance Begin uh, comes in at, okay? So moving on. <laughs> oh my God, now the cat is meowing because I put her in the room. Next one is Fragrance du Bois, Minui at Demi. And this is a collaboration with Demi Rawling. And <laughs> this thing is so, fr I got to take it off and sniff it. I can't help it. I'm not going to do that for all of them, but I got to with this one. Oh my God. It's so good, y'all. This is literally just cardamom. It's caramel. It's a little coffee. And it's it's just such a beautiful, sweet, sexy, like this is a sexy time gourmand, okay? It wears closer to the skin, but it lasts. And if you overspray this, like people will people will definitely smell this on you. Like I, I still cannot get where people get poor performance out of it. Like I don't get it, but <laughs> everyone's skin is different everyone knows it's different but i freaking love this and to me this has moderate um you know longevity and siage so yeah i'm gonna be dogging this out because it's starting to get chilly outside and it is just a very opulent gourmand so if you're in the market for something like that i think they have uh oh i want to say decan said lucky scent for this one 
yeah so definitely check it out i think it's absolutely gorgeous now next up is probably the gourmand i'm most obsessed with at the moment and this is from the house of narcotica and this is a dulce diablo o m g okay omg <laughs> that's all i gotta say i can just put this back omg next no, i'm just playing <laughs> so you guys this is when i say realistic apricot this is a very realistic apricot cacao uh sugary boozy scent that is what it is in a nutshell but the way this thing is blended okay absolutely delectable and the good thing about this is it's super unisex i hear more men talking about this and i cannot lord knows i don't know why <laughs> because it's very sweet and nothing about this is going to make it lean um you know masculinely this is straight up and down unisex so if you're in the market for a gourmand that is going to stun <laughs> that's going to you know snatch souls grab attention snap necks <laughs> this is the one that you need to get on your radar honey i mean it's it's delicious like if you love apricots if you love cacao like it's, this is a no-brainer this is a no-brainer it is sweet this one opens very beast mode but i feel like it kind of comes down to where it's it's going to be above moderate performance for sure um, but it's not going to, you know, continue like beast mode projection, uh, all day in my opinion on my skin. Like it was more of a above moderate type of experience. Okay. So definitely check that one out. So for some reason lately, I've been in between like sweet, heavy fall and fresh. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm just trying to get my last little, you know, bit of summer or freshness in, but I have been gravitating towards Hope's Bijou. So I'll probably get a few more wears out of her before it really starts to, to get, you know, too chilly. But this is a gorgeous, when I say gorgeous, mango, grapefruit, heliotrope type of scent. That is what I get. It's, it's, um, it's sweet, but it's not anything like, gourmand super sticky sweet it is sweet it is very powdery and this is like ultra feminine like this is femininity in a cupcake <laughs> so if you're in the market for something like that oh highly recommend it and this one lasts on my skin i'm to my i wore this last week and i could still smell it radiating off my actual skin now not just my clothes uh after about like 10 11 hours so some people say they don't get long wear on the skin. Overspray the, sh the <laughs> sugar honey iced tea out of this in layers and it will last you like 10 to 12 hours on your skin. I promise you. Um, yeah. So, okay, let's see. Next up. See, this is what I'm talking about. Chasing this cat. Like it's getting late and now the sun is like shifting, which I was trying to get down here and film this to avoid that. But here we are. All right. So these are, I got to shake them up. Let's see, I'll see what they're supposed to look like. These are body oil mists. Okay. And this, I got these from Harrods. Um, I don't know where you can get these, like just walk into a store and buy these in the U.S. So th that is where I got them, Harrods. But this is Ojar, okay? So if you're in the market for a oil body mist, okay? So it's not going to be like a perfume oil and it's not going to be a body mist. It's kind of something in between. These you should check out. Now, this one is Halwa, not to be confused with Helwa. <laughs> this is Halwa, and this is supposed to be like a honey, um, I want to say like honey, saffron, very oriental. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't decided on this scent. It was a like, it wasn't a like a stone cold love. So, hmm, haven't played with this one, but this one, <laughs> Wood Whisper, okay, my sandalwood lovers. If you want a body mist oil that you can just, honey, when I say just spray this all over your body, all right, and, and you get this supple sandalwood, creamy, slightly sweet, woody experience, that is where this is going to come in at. So you can use this just as is. Girl, if you got a Netflix and chill night, you ain't trying to do too much with the scent. 
because you don't want, you know, to grab too much attention. Like you can't, sometimes that beast mode stuff. No, that's not for intimate settings. But if you're just winding down at night, okay, you have a Netflix and chill, or you want to layer this with other things or add a little sandalwood into the mix, this is what you need in your life. All right. So I highly recommend this one in particular. Like I said, I'm not too sure about this one yet. I have to play with it some more, but I'm loving the Wood Whisper. It's got quite a few notes. I can't remember off the top of my head, but essentially it's like a sweetened sandalwood and it's got like this, I want to say what, like cactus, Ooh, is it prickly pear and cactus? I don't know. Like the water in here is not just like water. Um, this is literally like skincare and fragrance in one. So I love this product and I want to try a few more from the brand. They actually have perfume oils as well. I haven't tried those, but I'm thinking I'm going to get the matching perfume oil, which is heavily concentrated, um, version of this. Yeah. So, and this again is by Ojar. All right, you guys, this sun is starting to hit. So let me hurry this video up. <laughs> All right, so this one, Lamar by Kajal. We know it. We love it. Um, This, I feel like, is a pineapple that does actually work in the fall. Like, this is a very woody pineapple. And it to me, this doesn't scream spring, summer. Like, say, like a Hachivat. I feel like that is reserved for summer for me. This one, I feel like it's just a little bit more versatile. And I don't know if it's because it has all the red berries, um, you know, and these additional elements. But this is a gorgeous unisex pineapple scent. I know I had a couple people ask me um, where they could get it because it's been out of stock lately. But... Uh, Dior Prestige, they do have it in stock. I'll link it below. So if you're trying to get your hands on um, Lamar by Kajal, yeah, go ahead and scoop it up because like this is their obviously their best seller, if I'm not mistaken, because they can't ever seem to keep this in stock for too long. It's constantly being sold out um, on multiple sites. So beautiful Woody Pineapple. Check it out, Lamar. All right, so let's see. This one... <laughs> I love this thing. This is Hellwa. This is by Awaz. I've been talking quite a bit about this on my channel. This is just straight up and down a, a wonderful performing vanilla scent. Okay. But it's got this addition of caramel and um, toffee. It's a little ambery. So, you know, you're getting like this gorgeous gourmand oriental vibe. And again, if you love a vanilla, if you love caramel, this one is definitely one worth checking out. Um, it lasts quite a while on the skin and it has beautiful, beautiful sillage and projection. Again, that is Hellwa by Awas. I'm trying to hurry y'all because honey, this sun is not playing no games. All right. So let's see. This one is Odwell. Oh, God. I just finished filming my Vanillas video. And I sprayed this thing. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. It's like... It's a black tea, resinous, earthy type of vanilla. But above all, it is vanilla. And it is so beautiful. Like, this is for the girl who likes vanilla but so many of them go into that sticky sweet gourmandish um territory and this one does not this one maintains a freshness like i said our earthiness very versatile and just oh it's a whole vibe when i say perfect vanilla um for fall this is perfect for fall it is um it's got like some juniper berries it's very aromatic bottom line it's a very aromatic vanilla that i feel like is unisex leaning a little feminine um not again not anything sugary or overly sweet just a beautiful beautiful uh, earthy vanilla and that is by diptyque all right we are winding down let me just bring these last two up so i'm not having to reach Okay, so you already know, honey. <laughs> you already know 
that this is going to be on an October tray. I never thought I would see that. When I say hell has frozen over and I saw pigs flying outside of my window, leave la parfum. Y'all, if you have been rocking with me, you know I do not like the Libre line. And I could just, Look, I'm stuttering because I can't believe I have one in my collection. Not only do I have it in my collection, I freaking love it. I am absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. It is so smooth and it's sweet. It's borderline gourmand um, orange blossom. Okay, it's got the lavender, but the lavender's dialed back. And if you have not found a leave that you like, I, I implore you. <laughs> I urge you to get your nose on this one because it is converting leap haters all over the world right now period it is converting leap haters so definitely check this one out the la parfum it is everything i freaking love this one all right you guys and so the last one it is discontinued but you can still find this mm, maybe discounters but definitely individual sellers um oh my god mon exclusive honey this is the best of the monger lawns period so this is like your monger lawn okay the lavender is dialed back even further than what it is in the uh, monger lawn intense and on top of that it has additional notes of like toffee added and butter so it is so smooth and creamy and a very delicious, sweet, like, ugh, ultra delectable version of Monger Lime. Like, I love Monger Lime. Um, and I love the intense. But this one, oh, oh, if you get your hands on exclusive, I'm telling you, it hits different. And I freaking love it. It's beautiful, beautiful scent. And I've been, like, trying to ration it since I got it. But... This fall, we're going to get some wears, okay? Because I don't reach for my regular Mongolon or the Intense that often. So, it's no point in me, like, just trying to, like, use it sparingly. I'm going to just go ahead and use it as I want to because I'm getting so many <laughs> bottles of my collection. Like, girl, what is the point of trying to hold on to anything? Because it is going to be probably impossible um, to find again within a year or two. So, yeah, Mon Exclusive is definitely that Mongolon. I love it. All right, you guys, so that is my October tray. Let me know fragrances that you plan to wear this month. Um, people were asking me about this actual tray. This is really like my candle um, coffee book tray. I usually don't keep fragrances on here just when I'm filming, but I got this from CB2. Last time I checked um, in September, it was sold out, but this is the Vic V-I-K. Um... Yeah, tray. And this thing is like, it's literally like 50 pounds. It's, it's very, like, this is solid. When I say solid, this is solid glass. Like, this is a weapon. You don't need a gun when somebody breaks in. You need this. Okay? All right, you guys. So, let me stop cutting the food. That's my video for today. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you plan on wearing, Um, you know, this month. And, ooh, guess what, y'all? Tomorrow, the Fall Vanillas video will be airing. So, Definitely make sure you check that out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on, honey. I love you all, and I will catch you guys on the next one.